Put your hands up if you have dry skin. Put your hands up if you have dehydrated skin. But I have oily skin. Did you know that you can have dehydrated skin even if you're oily? What? Dehydrated skin lacks water while dry skin lacks oil. However, you could be either one of them or both. And yes, that's why today we're going to talk about the difference between dry and dehydrated skin, how you can actually have both, and how to combat. Yeah, and the best thing is because all three of us have really different skin types and skin tones and things like that, we all use a different routine and products. So we're going to be sharing with you, well Rowena is going to be sharing dry skincare routine. Same with Mia and I'll share with you my confusing, oily, dehydrated skincare routine. Make sure you've hit that like, you've hit that subscribe, and make sure all notifications are turned on so you learn a new thing every time we come out with a video. Okay, let's go. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is dry skin. What exactly is dry skin? It's when your skin is dry and parched all year round, like crackling, rough, dry patches, and even after moisturizing, it still looks like the dry crack desert. People with dry skin tend to require more external moisture in order to compensate for the lack of oil production. Normally, it's due to genetics and sometimes causes you to have more sensitive skin. The upside to having dry skin is most likely you will not have acne or breakouts or blackheads. However, you might see wrinkles and lines forming just a little bit earlier than those who have oily skin. So the solution for dry skin is to always keep your skin nice and hydrated and moisturized because actually if you have dry skin your sebaceous glands aren't producing enough oil or as much oil as oily skin people and so it's like lacking that natural nourishment so you have to restore it with facial oils and body oils and things like that so on top of oils there's also deep hydrating ingredients that can be found in moisturizers as well as vitamin e okay so here is a simple routine that you dry people out there can follow number one is cleansing and cleansing with a cleansing milk or a cleansing lotion is more ideal for those who have dry or sensitive skin cleansing milk is not as popular as like soap or cleansing foams and gels and other types of cleansing products but those are very very good because not only do they do a good job at removing makeup the dirt and grime from the skin but also keeps your skin moisturized and hydrated number two is exfoliate exfoliation applies to everyone doesn't matter what skin you have whether it's oily dry sensitive combination you should always exfoliate and it doesn't matter what climate or what weather as well this is something that i find a lot of people tend to do less of in winter or when they have dry skin they feel like oh i don't want to overstimulate my skin or i don't feel like i need to exfoliate any thick sebum on my face because i have dry skin it's actually the other way around because when you have dry skin a lot of the dead skin cells the flaky the dry skin patches form on top of your skin and it creates a barrier so then the moisture that you put on top is not getting fully absorbed so exfoliating is very very important and that should definitely be in your routine no matter what find an exfoliator that has beads or grains in there can be a little bit too harsh for those who have dry and sensitive skin so opt for something that has AHA or BHAs which are chemical based exfoliants that you don't need to physically scrub or rub on your face. So after coming out of the shower and cleansing your face, the last step to your cleansing routine should be a toner. And what toner does is usually to rebalance the pH levels, remove any cleanser residue, makeup residue, and just making sure your skin is absolutely clean and ready for your skincare routine. And then moving on to the first step of your skincare routine should be something like an essence or a lotion. An essence and lotion differs to a toner because the essence and lotion contain a lot of hydrating properties that basically nourish or prime the skin for your skin to absorb the serum or ingredients or nutrients better and faster and more efficient. So the lotion is actually padded onto the skin for your skin to absorb, whereas a toner is a wipe off and dispose. Now the next thing is the very most important thing is using a serum for your face, especially when you have dry skin. Serum works on the dermis layer of the skin, which basically where all the cell turnover happens, your elastin collagen production, and it works deeper on a level that you will see results um, long term. And so using ingredients such as humectants, peptides, nourishing ingredients like vitamin E, those are things that are going to help to hydrate and moisturize your skin and give you that moisture for long term as well. And then last but not least is beauty oils. And beauty oils are a 
savior to dry flaky skin because skin loves nutrients and vitamins and nourishing products and beauty oil is so comforting on the skin it almost forms a protective layer over your skin that your skin just feels moisturized all day round and beauty oils can range from vitamin E's, rose hip, jojoba, coconut, everything anything that's good for your skin definitely go ahead and try them and using the oil just creates that barrier and allows your skin to trap some moisture in. Okay, so for my skincare routine, I've been keeping it pretty simple these days with cleanser. I love using Crave Beauty's Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. It's super gentle and effective, but I usually just wear SPF on my face, and this does a really good job of cleaning off the dirt, grime, and oil from the day. For toner, I've been loving Ren Skincare's Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. It's not drying at all and does an amazing job of brightening my face and tightening my pores. For serum, I use the Body Shop's Drop of Youth Concentrate. My skin immediately feels moisturized and instantly softer. For moisturizer, I use Glow Recipes Watermelon Pink Juice. I love how it keeps my skin hydrated for the whole day and how lightweight it is, especially for summer. And at night, I love using Drunk Elephant's Marula Oil, which keeps my skin nice and moist and super soft and supple when I wake up. So what about dehydrated skin? Does your skin feel a little tight after cleansing? Yeah. Do you get like dry patches of flaky skin on your face? Yes. Most likely you have dehydrated skin. Dehydrated skin, unlike dry skin, is more of a temporary thing. It's usually caused by a high sodium diet or a lot of processed foods. Sometimes it could be caused by exposure of UV rays. It could be other factors like the climate or you're not drinking enough water. What your body does is amazing. It will actually overcompensate for the lack of water in your body and it will produce a lot of oil for the skin to hydrate itself. And sometimes when you overproduce oil, and you already have oily skin, and that's what causes the oil on oil factor, and it causes blockage, um, bacterial infections, hence why acne, breakouts, and all of that good stuff. So let's move on to my dehydrated, oily skincare routine. So for hydration, basically it's all about moisture and putting back moisture into my skin. And my routine looks something like this. At the end of the day, I'll wipe off my makeup with this Derma E Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water to break down my eye makeup, which is basically waterproof mascara. And I put it on two pads and then just drip a bit over them, hold it over my eyes. And the thing is, you wanna hold this over your eyes for about five to 10 seconds so the product really sinks in and breaks down the product. Then just very gently rub it in circular motions. To, and most of that eye gunk and mascara and eyeliner should all be coming off now. So this won't make it 100% clean because then I move on to a cleansing oil to really melt down the rest of the makeup on my face because oils draw out oils. And you don't want lingering foundation to be stuck in your pores and so using a cleansing oil really just sucks it all out. So this is just a little travel size of the Shuyumera cleansing oil that I have. Put a bit on your hand and massage it all over your face. I really can't live without cleansing oil because it's just so gentle and it breaks down any sort of makeup. All right, next to remove any lingering residue or dirt left in the pores, I use a really gentle and mild cleanser from Crave, which Rowena also uses and mentioned previously as well. Um, and this one's actually my favorite because it's got this jelly consistency and it's slightly tingly don't know what it is but it leaves the skin so fresh and so clean and when I'm done cleansing I just go to my room which is where I usually put on all the moisturizers and stuff just a habit I guess so I start with this fresh herb calendula tincture toner which is so good you guys it's really made such a difference on my skin and it's Korean and it's super inexpensive it calms nourishes soothes and balances the skin so you should definitely check this one out then after petting that on I'll use a few drops of this Huxley water grab essence and this is an essence serum hybrid that grabs grabs and pulls water and moisture to the skin without letting go. And it keeps your complexion moisturized all day long and just gives this super moisturized look on your skin. I love this brand. They have really lightweight products that use prickly pear cactus extract as a core ingredient in all their products. And yeah, it just leaves the face feeling really refreshed and supple and ready to absorb the moisturizer. Because I have dry areas as well as an oily as heck T-zone, I use this Balanced Moisturizer from Ole Henriksen. It has AHA and also BHA to lift and loosen dead skin cells that clog pores, and also has rose hip extract to fight shine and also reduce oil production on your skin, so it's perfect for the summers. 
Then to seal the deal, I always use eye cream, and I've tried this new brand called Violition, which has escargot mucin in it, which has collagen, elastin, and it's so hydrating, but it's also the perfect base for makeup under the eyes. So you can definitely use that in the morning as well as at night. So I just dab that under the eyes and spread it towards the outer corners with any excess. So that's basically my night and day routine lately. I'm really loving everything that I just mentioned and it's working so well with hydrating certain areas and then balancing oils in other areas. So that's my dehydrated skin routine. There's also foods that help with dehydrated skin and these include cucumber because cucumber is actually made up of mostly 96% water. So consuming cucumbers can also rehydrate your body and your skin. Next one is lettuce, which is also made up of a majority of water. So that's why it's always more refreshing to eat a salad with lettuce rather than a burger and fries. Other foods that are good for dehydrated skin are tomatoes and watermelons, strawberries, spinach, and broccoli. All right, so that was it. I hope you guys find this video somewhat helpful. If you have any other questions, leave your comments down below. Remember, sharing is caring, so give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you in our next video. Bye. Thank you.